Hey everybody, so I got cut out in that last video. Um, so as I was saying, the scientists realized that they don't have enough information to predict Cheddar's, uh, Cheddar Man's skin color. And because they don't have enough information, they, they make a prediction, but they put a warning, which is saying we need better sequence coverage before we can uh, you know, clarify to which degree this individual had dark complexion. The fact of the matter is, as I said in the previous video, it is very likely that this individual did not have dark complexion. And I'm going to tell you why. If you keep going down in the supplementary info and we come to Luchbor, Luchbor, for those of you who don't know, I'll show you how, how we spell his name right here. He's a fellow from Luxembourg in Central Europe. So the thing is with the Western Hunter Gatherers, there were a fairly small population. There was not a lot of people in Europe back then. So the populations were fairly homogeneous. But you know one thing that stands out about Lushbor? He actually happens to have all 36 nibs because he was a very high sequence, uh, D, you know, his DNA was very high sequence. So all the snips were present and had good coverage. Here's the interesting thing about Lushbor. When we run the algorithm, mind you, this is an algorithm that has a 26% sensitivity of predicting skin color, intermediate skin color, but a 98% specificity. So if it predicts you to have an intermediate skin color, there's only a 2% chance that you don't have it. But if it doesn't, there's a 74% chance that you have it. Well, Lodgebore, it's very, you know, it's very short, the skin pigmentation stuff. He's predicted to have intermediate skin. In fact, look at this. He's a light-skinned white individual. He would have tan, obviously, he was probably olive skin. So isn't that interesting? Two years later, we finally get that lunch board had olive skin. Fascinating. Yet, where's the retraction story? I mean, granted, it wasn't all the hype as with La Varagna and um, and this guy. But where is the articles from the media saying that yeah, there were hunter gatherers that had olive skin? Ah, oh, you're probably not gonna find those articles. So because Lochbor had intermediate skin and both Labrania and Cheddarman are predicted to have dark skin but only because they're missing information I think I can go out on a limb and predict that they probably too had olive skin so no they probably weren't as you know they weren't white like modern day Europeans they, they weren't pale but they weren't brown and you know the fact of the matter is It's, it sucks because, you know, for once, um, I don't really give that a shit that much about skin pigmentation. It's just one trait. Human diversity exceeds far. It goes beyond skin pigmentation. You know, and it's a beautiful thing to study. But it sucks when you have people straight up blind to the public. Because it is on us scientists to inform the public and to install critical thinking and to allow people to seek the truth. If you're misleading, if you're purposely manipulating data with a political intent, then then you cross over into into activism, into something else. You're no longer a scientist. That that's my opinion about it. And I think um, this four videos have demonstrated that I'm not going to accuse this scientist. Well, Tom Booth, I'm definitely accusing him because he's straight up lying about it. And he's been quoted on that. And the other, but I'm not accusing all the scientists that are participating in this. Many of them, this is a very well written uh, study. And, and I don't disagree with anything that is said in here. But this is very different from what was said on the Museum of Natural History, where they, they almost make it seem like it's uh, written in stone. Okay, so that was all. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And um, I'm going to be going over some other topics in the future, such as uh, if we're all immigrants in Europe, should we be welcome to, to immigrants? Were people welcome to immigrants in the past? That's an interesting question. What do you think? Were the hunter-gatherers welcome to the farmers when the farmers got here? Were the farmers welcome to the people that came from the European Russian steppe? I'll let you think about that and Google it. See if people were uh, welcoming in the past and sh whether modern day Europeans should be welcome, you know, welcoming to immigrants today or any human populations. Look for that. That'll be an interesting topic. Okay, I'm out.